All right, welcome back to The Right Club. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2011. Topics this week and for me today. Worst critic is uh, basically yourself. I'll get to that. And then the second topic will be how to keep thinking your story is genius. Number one, the worst critic of your work is for most, I, I don't like to say always or never because it's an all-inclusive term. There's always exceptions to the rule just like I said always there. And the worst critic is yourself most of the time. Anytime that you go back and read your work over again, whenever you're in the, the first draft, it's not gonna sound that good. And then you're gonna wanna go back and you're gonna wanna edit it. Now, B.B. Genius said on how to keep thinking that your story is not genius, to go back and reread everything you've done every time you go back and edit and all that. And that's right, because every time you go back, you're going to end up thinking it's worse and worse, and then you're going to go into the second topic. And you're going to not think that your work is genius. And especially here for NaNoWriMo, that is going to be um, one of the biggest challenges. And they tell you it's writing with reckless abandon. You're writing your first draft, you're just writing it to get the words out. And... You don't have time to go back and edit unless you have, like, every day, all day. Like, if you don't have work or school or kids or a life. You know, if all you have time to do is write all, every day, all day, you know, you don't have time to go back and edit and reread all your work over and over again. So what you need to do is you just need to, need to turn off your inner editor. Don't be going back and trying to think of the best words and the best sentence and the best paragraph to make up the story. It doesn't have to be published after you finish writing the first draft. That's why they call them a draft. You're going to go through multiple ones. You're going to go through revisions and edits later on. But for the month of November for NaNoWriMo, you just need to focus on getting those words down on paper. And I do this myself whenever... I'm writing through and I'm looking for a word. I know there's a word that I want to use. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. I'm losing too much time. I just put down the first word that I can think of, and I know that I'm going to catch that later, and I'm going to change it. So it's okay. I just keep on going. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in a rut. And then you can end up with writer's block. If there's a disease for writers other than writer's block, that's going to end up happening um, to you if you don't turn off your inner editor. And then that's going to lead in to um, not thinking that your story's genius. But to keep thinking it's genius, in order to do that, do the opposite of what B.B. Genius said. Don't go back and reread your work. If you work on it consistently, then you'll remember your story. There may be little things that you need to pull back from before, but in your Word um, document, you should be able to search for a key term and be able to find that you know, pretty easily and quickly, and then put it in. If you don't want to do that, just make a note of it. Um, like, type right into the document, make it a different color, like red, or make an annotation to go back and find that fact that you put in there, or whatever the term is, and then you'll, you'll find it later. Don't edit, don't go back and reread, just keep on going. And that's going to help you to keep thinking that you're story is genius. Other ways to keep thinking it's genius is think about your story throughout the day. You know, even when you're out and about doing something, if you're at the grocery store, um, wherever you may be, look around you and think, is there anything here that I could throw into this story unexpectedly to change the course of things? And as long as you're keeping it interesting for yourself, you're going to want to make it interesting for the reader. And you're going to want to keep it interesting for you. So you need to throw unexpected things in there. Twists and turns. So when you're out and about, even if it's a place that has nothing to do with your plot or with your characters, maybe that's what your story is needing if you're starting to feel that it's lacking. Throw something completely unexpected in there and see what your characters do. Alright, so that's coming up to the end of, of my five minutes. So I'm going to cut it really short. And we will see you tomorrow.